If you're like me, you probably watch a lot of photographers on YouTube to try to get tips and tricks or even find new locations or see where they're taking photos. Actually, if you're like, if you're like me, you probably subscribe to those channels. Um, have you ever thought about subscribing to the smaller channels, the up and coming channels, the people that are trying to grow their account on YouTube? If you have, why don't you give me a follow? Why don't you subscribe to my channel and hopefully help me grow my channel? One of the things these YouTubers tell me indirectly, I admit, is that I'm not a proper photographer unless I use prime lenses, which is a bit sad for me because I don't have a prime lens. And as any of you that have watched my channel in the past know that I use a Canon 400D 15 year old camera to take many of my pictures. But today I've managed to borrow a 50mm Canon prime lens and what I'm going to do, I'm going to do a review of this 50mm lens and I'm going to try and compare the 50mm lens with this 1855 kit lens and to see if you really do need a prime lens to be a photographer. As for a comparison of this 50mm lens with the 1855, my expectation is this lens should be a lot sharper. It's got six elements in five groups. That means it's only got six pieces of glass in this lens, which the fewer pieces of glass you have in a lens, the more likely that lens is going to be sharp because the light doesn't have to keep traveling and refract through all the lenses to get to your sensor. The other really good thing about this lens is it's got a 1.8 aperture. So it means it's much quicker than the F3.5 to 5.6 kit lens. So by by being a faster lens, what it means is more light can get to your sensor, meaning that you can have a much faster shutter speed, which makes this lens so much faster. On a negative side, of course, this is a fixed focal length. It's 50 millimeters, which is an 80 millimeter equivalent in the full frame. And 80 mil in the full frame is, is what you'd call a portrait lens. So I'm here in the Usher Gallery in Lincoln, looking to take some photos with my lenses and I'm likely to not take any portraits but just do some landscape type photos and photos around this park. The lens is fully plastic it's got a plastic mount and unusually it's got a 52 mil filter thread which is quite small and not the same as most Canon lenses. It's super light and super small and you can pick these lenses up for about 70 pounds on MPBs. The rules for this experiment is that I'm going to ensure that all the photos I take I set to 50mm and I'm going to use the same focal length. Of course this is f1.8. I'm bound to take a photo of with this lens at f1.8 just to see how well it performs but generally the pictures I take I'm going to keep the same focal length and the same aperture just to try to compare the two lenses to see how they compare against each other. I'm going to have a wander around this area of Lincoln and try to just get a couple of shots, just a couple, just to do that comparison. I don't want to go overboard. I'll show you the results on my computer when I get back home and we can have a good look at the differences between the two images. Of course, one of the reasons maybe why these YouTube professionals tell you that you're not a photographer unless you use a prime lens is because when you use a prime lens, you have to set your shot up. You have to think much more carefully about the shot you take because you can't zoom in or zoom out to get the right uh, focal length. You have to position yourself to get the frame right. So if there's anything that is almost true about using this lens, it's because you have to work a bit harder to get the shot. The first shot I'm going with is this sculpture of a man with a hammer. And what I've realised is that the 1855 lens doesn't have an indicator of where 50 mil is. So I think I'm going to have to guess and hopefully I'll get it right. I'm going with the portrait orientation so that I get uh, a portrait shot of this sculpture and it fits in nicely at this distance at 50 mil. It lens, I'm going f8, 1 60th of a second and ISO 100.
I'm going to take a picture of one of these tulips. I love the idea of the water drops on the tulip itself and they're lovely and red and I'm hoping I can get a really good example picture. of. I'm going to take a comparison shot with both lenses but I'm also going to take a shot at f1.8 with the prime lens see what the background blur is. My final shot of this little test is to try to get a picture of the front of the Astro Gallery itself. Once again, I'm going to go into portrait mode because the, the, the angle's not wide enough and I'll try to get, uh, capture a picture of the doorway. I'm back home now and let's have a look on the computer at the pictures I've taken. We'll compare the 50mm lens with the 1855 kit lens and just see if this prime lens is really better than the kit lens. So let's jump on the computer and have a look at the images now. Now I'm in Adobe Lightroom and I'm using the reference photo uh, option to compare the two side by side. And the first thing I've noticed with the man with the hammer shot that I took on using the kit lens, it's out of focus. So if I zoom in to uh, into this shot, you can see that, that all the head is out of focus, the whole shot. So I can only assume that I had a bit of camera shake when I took that photo. The other thing I did notice as well is my ability to try to zoom the kit lens to 50mm didn't quite work, especially on this image, because it's 49mm. The, the front of the Usher Gallery building with the doorway, and this is much better, this is in focus. I haven't edited these pictures whatsoever exactly as they came out, came out of the camera as raw files. So if we zoom into this picture and try to find some detail, uh, what I'll do is zoom into um, this here and just check. So the truth is this, I can see immediately, this is this prime lens, the 50mm uh, portrait lens is definitely look sharper. This side on this flower it looks slightly softer than this, but there's really not much in it. For for an Instagrammer posting pictures on Instagram in portrait format, I don't think you'd really notice any difference. The second image I took, which is the picture of uh, the tulips, this is really interesting because personally, as a raw image, I really think the colours on the 1855 lens are, are much softer. Uh, and these colours on the prime lens are much more vivid. You can see the reds stand out much more on the prime lens than they do on the 1855 lens. But more personally, I quite like the softer colours in truth. I think that they're just slightly too vivid on the uh, prime lens. If we zoom in, and I can zoom in onto these, these water droplets, and once again, the 1855 lens is slightly uh, less sharp, slightly softer as you can see that's definitely softer than the prime lens. Uh, so yes there's definitely a difference although as I said earlier there's the difference is so subtle it's almost not worth it. What I did do is take a photo of the tulips with um, f1.8 and let's have a look at the difference between f1.8 and f8. The background blur is amazing it's just are completely out of focus. I quite like the fact that you've got this background that you can look at. Even if it's out of focus, it adds a bit more interest to the picture. Whereas, yes, the tulip stands out fantastically in this picture. But I do like the interest in the uh, with the background on the F8 photo. Although both of them are, fa are fabulous. For me, in conclusion, there's definitely a benefit to having the prime lens, especially for shallow depth of field as we saw with that tulip image. For me as an Instagrammer, is it really necessary to go out and buy a prime lens just for my Instagram pictures? And in my opinion, I don't think it is. I don't think you get enough from the prime lens to warrant paying that extra money or having two lenses in your bag. Maybe if the 50mm lens was a pro lens and was much, much sharper, it might have made a difference. Or if I'm selling my pictures, rather than just posting them on Instagram. I could admit, yeah, prime lenses are worth it. But for me, and judging by the pictures I've taken, I don't think it's worth me investing my money in a prime lens. Well, let me know what you think, and let me know what you think of these images, and if there is that much of a difference, what you can see on the screen. 
Thanks very much for watching. I really appreciate that you've actually clicked on this video to watch it and watch my little test of the 50mm prime lens and just to see if if it really is important to have prime lenses and you are a proper photographer uh, if you have them. Of the maybe a hundred people that click on this video to watch it, I get about 10 of you that are subscribers and thank you very much indeed for subscribing. But there's another 90 of you who probably don't subscribe to the channel. But you may well subscribe to those big professional channels. But if you feel like helping a small channel out and help me grow, I'd really appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. It means so much to me. It would be fantastic if you did. But thank you again for watching. I really appreciate that you have. And I'll see you in the next one. So cheerio.